Well, it's time to get interactive and in voice here. Yes, <laughs> and can you believe it's Friday already? It is. You were asking me if it was the last Friday of the year. <laughs> I am You're in a hurry for the year to crash <laughs> so that you enter the new year. Not really, not really. But it's it's time is flying. I don't yeah, know. I, know. I don't know if it's just Before me, you know. but. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, next week. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, anyway, next so, week. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> well, thank God it's Friday. We cannot close off the week without discussing the issue of the presidency of our spending its 2014 budget. That issue came up three uh, days ago, but we are bringing it back. In case you missed it, let me tell you the presidency spent 48. Point eight, yes, forty-eight point eight, not thousand million Ghana cities instead of the seven point four million Ghana cities allocated to it in the twenty fourteen budget. Yes, yeah, that much. In case you missed the news, more than three times the allocated budget. Well, I'm Ifwa Kwai Harrison, and this is JN Interactive. I'll be right back. <laughs> So as you've heard, Surfline proudly supports Jen Interactive. Surfline, it's about time. Remember, you can join us via all our social media platforms and contribute to the discussion. We will rebroadcast your comments to the rest of the world. Find us on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. On Twitter, at join news on TV or Jen Interactive GH. We are also online. It's join... Oh, by email, join us I am at multitvworld.com or you can find us on WhatsApp. The number is 054-010-9009. The number again is 54 9009 So while other departments and agencies could not perform their jobs because of cash, the cash was flowing. Wah, wah, wah at the presidency. I remember that parliament earlier in the year was broke. Uh, let me read a bit of that story to you and as you can see on your screens, uh, parliament is broke at the mercy of donors, says Isaac A. Siama and uh, some minority members of parliament are accusing government of reneging on its responsibility of strengthening the work of the law-making body. According to them, Parliament is broke and is at the mercy and pleasure of donor institutions with uh, no to provide funding to enable the law-making body undertake some of its core duties. Advancing his argument on the President's State of the Nation's address to Parliament Wednesday, member of, and it's gone, <laughs> it's gone, but uh, that story is on myjoyonline.com. But you know what? It was not just Parliament. Judges too complained of poor conditions. And it was not only judges uh, and parliamentarians. Other ministries also complained of poor funding. The presidency, however, got three times more than their allocated budget. Uh, we will be catching up with James Afeji, hopefully on the telephone lines. He is MP for K2 North and chairman for the Finance Committee of Parliament to sort of uh, give us a bit more detail about how this happened and how much the presidency actually spent. But before that, we want to know from you out there um, what you think about this. So let's go to our first video blog. They are ruling the nation. And if what they, what they, uh, they are doing with the money, the, if traveling, what they are going to bring back will benefit the nation. I don't have a problem with it. But whatever they are going to, if they are traveling and they are not bringing anything, then they should sit up. We are all suffering under the economy. So if you are the president or the minister and they've given you a budget and you are overspending it, I expect, you, I expect that uh, you bring something that the, the suffering that we are facing now 
at the long run, we can say that, oh, what you use it for, you are benefiting. But at the long run, if you don't, you don't benefit anything, then I don't know what to say. Then uh, they, they better uh, get, get out of, of our power, then we can, the next time we know what to do. We believe very strongly that this particular year has been very challenging, and these monies could be ventured in any of the service or manufacturing company, you know, so that at least uh, the economy be boosting, rather using the money, traveling and other things, uh, is a bit worrying. So we want to appeal to government that these monies to be channeled into profitable ventures, which will, at least uh, the people in the country will benefit you know, from that money. To me, it's very bad. But look at the situation now. Ghana today has been changed. Today is 20th or 19th of December. And it's, uh, let's say, three or four, four days to Christmas. And you can't see anything. Everything is messed up. So to me, it's very bad. From the way he spends the money and traveling, and everything, to me, it's very bad. Maybe MP for K2 North and Chairman for the Finance Committee of Parliament, James Afeji, can clarify uh, issues on that for us. Welcome to Gen Interactive, sir. Thank you very much and good evening to your listeners. Good evening. Now, do you have a breakdown of how much the presidency spent? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, the office of the president, which is headed by the chief of staff, is one of the uh, cost centers under government machinery. The government machinery has over 30 core centers. It includes national security, media, mass law, uh, state enterprises commission, uh, all the 10 regional uh, coordinating councils, diversity and implementation committee, council of state, state protocol, and a host of them. Mm. Now all these bodies fall under government machinery. So all these bodies are classified as core centers. Then one amount is approved for all these bodies. And they all draw from this approved budget for them. For 2014, total amount of 326 million Ghana cities was approved for Office of Government Machinery. Okay. Then as of September, the amount that was drawn by all these bodies total 203 million Ghana cities, which is about 52% of the 326 million approved for government machinery. So if you ask me, do I know how much the Office of President or Chief of Staff spent, I'll tell you that if you put all the bodies under government machinery together, they have spent 52% of their budget for 2014 as of September oh, ended. Okay, so where from the 7.4 million Ghana CDs that um, we lent was allocated to the office of the presidency? Now, uh, no amount called 7.4 was allocated to the office of the president. What really happened was that the amount was approved as I said, 326. What distributed among all the agencies or the court centers under the uh, government machinery? Initially, the amount which was allocated to Office of Chief of Staff was about 30 million Ghana cities. And all the bodies were allocated, and the total was the 326. The issue that is being debated, where the, my friends from the NPP are saying that. Office of Government Machinery had overturned their budget. Is that as of September, amount spent which was credited against the allocation for chief of staff was 74 million. So what they did was to subtract the 30 million from the 74 million, and then arrive at 44 million. So they went um, actually informing the public that Office of Chief of Staff or Office of the President has spent 45 million or over spent their budget. That is not their budget. That is their allocation. They should know the difference between 
budget. Budget is approved by parliament. Allocation to the various constituents are done by the minister responsible or the head of that spending unit. The law allows for the minister of finance to buy. Buy means that if you do an initial allocation to a cost center, and you realize that during the course of the year, that cost center do not need that much of money. You can take part of that money or transfer to part of that money to a cost center that needs more than what was allocated for it. So during the course of the year, they realized that the office of the president, or for that matter, chief of staff, needed more than was initially allocated for that cost center. And some other bodies do not need as much as was allocated to them. So the environment was done to ensure that funds that were initially allocated to those cost centers that do not need that much were shifted to the office of the chief of staff that needed more than what was initially allocated. Okay. That is not overspending. Okay. But it's just exceeding of the uh, initial allocation. But what we should be looking at is that does the government machinery spend more than the 326 approved by parliament? Mm. The answer is no. They have spent 62 percent as of September. Mm. That is a point that we should be talking about. Okay, so you are saying that there are a number of government bodies who all feed off one budget, okay, yeah. and uh, the office of the presidency is included yeah. in this budget, okay, yeah, yeah. and then you give the, the various offices an initial amount of money, and yeah. if they need more to do their work, then they can yeah. come back to the budget and get the rest of the money. Yes, right. And if those that do not need more than do not need as much as was allocated to them, part can be taken and to those uh, bodies that need more than what was allocated for them. That was what happened. All right. Thank you very much for clearing that up for us. I've been speaking to James Afeji. He is the MP for K2 North and chairman for the Finance Committee of Parliament. He is actually saying that the Office of the Presidency has not overspent its budget. Uh, they are well under budget. In fact, they just received an initial allocation of um, some amount of money and if they need more, there's one budget which is about three over 300 million Ghana CDs that they can go and pick from to do their work. I'll be right back with some of your comments. Welcome back. This is still Jane Interactive with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. We have been talking about the issue of the Office of the Presidency overspending its budget. Um, 7.4 million Ghana cities was allocated to the Office of the Presidency in the 2014 budget. Uh, we learned that uh, they exceeded it by 48.8 million Ghana cities. However, we spoke to uh, James Afeji, who is the MP for K2 North and chairman for the Finance Committee of Parliament, who explained that, you know, it's just an allocation and there's actually a budget of over 300 a million Ghana CDs that not only the office of the presidency but other um, government machinery uh, feeds from. But the issue still remains that the office of the presidency exceeded its budgetary allocation. So we've been asking you what you think on Facebook. So let's quickly go on to Facebook, uh, share a few of your comments there. and. Uh, Gideon Nkuma says, why do they have to complain while they've already spent 100%? Which country are we in? Kramponye. Hmm. Eric Boachi KV says, they are all greedy and don't think about the people. This is from Nkranza BA. Paul Sergio says, that's wicked and bad governance. Without seeing anything that they are using the money for. Asajo says they should manage with what is given to them. They like big money too much. Ahmed Toure says the chief of staff needs to be called by the DNI for further explanation on how he and his boss and the Flagstaff House spent more than what they were expected to spend. 
and Emmanuel Sebo says, Oh, Ghana, where from these leaders governing our country save us from their hands? And Jerry Lawson Bakri says, Ha ha ha, you are laughing actually. I care less after all, they are all the same. And Kwabuna Yebua says, Can people appreciate how the economy has been brought to its knees? Uh, Spending, also known as fiscal indiscipline in economics. Bazom Dunia, Living Prince, is just shaking his head. Nua, for God knows, Billy, says, So they won't think about our security personnel's accommodation, huh? Hmm, African politicians. Uh, Hakim Nuruddin says, The government doesn't even care about the layman on the street. Ghana Sun says it's very obscene and immoral for government to overspend its budgetary allocation by 100% at a time of great economic hardship that has seen families up and down the country tighten their financial belts. Such a government has no conscience, has no empathy, has no sense of service or sacrifice, and has no soul. Wow, harsh words there from Ghana's son. <laughs> uh, uh, Eliasu Haruna from Tamale, or he, Eliasu Haruna Tamale says that's all they know. Meanwhile, they never achieve any of their set targets. They are wasting everybody's time and resources. Ali Alhassan Sabato says, Wala, Wahala everywhere. Isaku Abdulaziz is saying, No more money for parliament. Newton Jaffet says, I think there's nothing wrong with overspending. The question has to do with what the money is used for. So those are a few of your co comments coming through on Facebook. I will be right back after this. And this is still your most interactive half hour with me, Ifwa Kwa Harrison. Well, Steve joins me in mm. the studio once more. And uh, we heard from uh, MP4K2 North yeah, that, you know, yes, it's, it's mm. not really... Uh, overspending its budget but it he did overspend uh, the allocation of money yeah but that's overspending I mean, no matter what it is <laughs> but apparently there's you spend a budget what you do not have yeah. then you're overspending i mean i think that we, we there are no uh, proper systems for exactly. us to even track the budget yeah. and check who is spending what and what's what's going and where. what's going where it's sad. but apparently yeah. there's over 300 million Ghana CDs yeah. allocated for government machine reason yeah. um, they, they are, they've actually spent 52 percent of the budget so there's more money there mm. anyway uh, Lord Kote has what's trending for us let's see what he has Thank God it's Friday. Now, if you missed out yesterday, we've been advocated by the president to purchase made in Ghana products. And as you can clearly see, I'm in my made in Ghana fabric. Today, however, the Congress organized by the NDC is trending. Let's go check out some of your tweets on Twitter. Now, the first tweet is from George W. Kinson. Ministers and candidates won't speak at NDC Congress. Okay. And the next one is from Alfie. Alfredo says, NDC going to Congress? I thought they were not going to present a candidate for 2016. Seriously? Why would they not do that? Yeah. When they could see, we dear, we day one a corner observing the NDC Congress. <laughs> okay. And Gabi Ochidaku says, NDC Congress. I tip Kofi Adams to win as new national organizer. Interesting prospect of how he will build broken and bent bridges. <laughs> Interesting indeed. And this is from Andy. So of this NDC Congress, it looks like it's rain Toyota Land Cruisers this week. Aye. <laughs> yeah, good observation there. Some of your tweets coming in there. Now let's actually hope that the Congress turns out well and peacefully too. This has been worth trending. My name is Lord Kusi. Over to you, Efor. We wrap up the show today. Yeah. The show this week, actually. Are you, Friday. Are you going to Kumasi for Congress? <laughs> no, no. I'm on leave. I always don't. I'm on leave. You're here. I I'm on leave. So yeah. ask off what? Next week will be your Next Congress. Week, ah, so. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> right. So my name is Stephen Antia. My name is Ifwa Kwa Harrison. Have a good evening. Have a great weekend too.